In Brevard County, this tiny Yorkie right here nearly lost his life when two dogs attacked the dog in a driveway. Now the owner is stuck with hefty vet bills. Fox 35's Esther Bauer explains why it's so difficult to get dogs classified as dangerous. Vinny the Yorkie was on his leash right here in the driveway when two dogs ran up and attacked. The sheriff's office is now investigating as this 12 year old dog starts a long road to recovery. He's traumatized. Vinny has a broken jaw. His eye is stitched shut and he lost teeth during the attack. So his tongue hangs out of his mouth to see your little dog being chewed up by two pit bulls. I mean, I was screaming hysterically. Donna Ellis says she's never worried about danger in her driveway, but that changed last week. It's just very scary. There was a little girl in my driveway not a minute before this happened. Had she not, had she still been here, God knows what would have happened. Brevard County's Animal Control tells us they are still investigating and Vinny is recovering, but Donna had to pay around $4,000 in vet bills. What was done to my dog wasn't right. We took these concerns to a lawyer who's dealt with animal attack cases in Brevard County. He's not involved in that case, but Jeff Golub says Donna should look into a lawsuit. She can definitely sue for for the medical bills to her dog, the vet bills, and all that. The county also has an ordinance on dangerous dogs, and there's a list online with dogs already declared dangerous in Brevard County. But Golub says one attack won't land a dog on the list. For a dog to be declared dangerous, you have to have two uh, severe bites or uh, killing of another animal. Whereas if it's a person, you only need one severe bite. Vinny is lucky to be alive and may need another surgery on his jaw. Donna wants more people to keep their dogs under control so other pets don't end up like this. Take him long to do that much damage. I mean, you can see there's a hole in the top of his head. And Donna says she's even more careful when she lets Vinny out. She's always looking for what dogs might be roaming in the neighborhood and says even if they are leashed on your property, they could still be in danger. Reporting in Melbourne, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News.